Hey everyone, welcome to In The Know DIY. I'm your host, Tay, and every week I'm gonna be showing you how to recreate some of the most viral DIY trends on social media. This week, I'm gonna be showing you how to recreate your own hanging disco ball planter. Now, if you know me or my house, you know I love disco, so I cannot wait to show you how simple and fast this DIY is. Let's get into it. Okay, here we have the DIY hanging disco ball planters. It's a really simple project that only requires four materials. First, you're gonna need the plant. This one, for all you plant lovers, is, it doesn't say. It's a green pothos. Then you need hanging hardware. You can pick whatever of your choice. You can do macrame or metal. And then your cutting materials. I have a box cutter, keep away from eyes, and an X-Acto knife. And that's, oh, the disco ball. <laughs> and then obviously, you're gonna need a disco ball. I have two just as a backup, but you can pick whatever size you want. So the very first step is I'm gonna use the X-Acto knife and I'm going to pick the line where I'm gonna cut the disco ball, individually pluck off the tiles. So I have a clean styrofoam ball that I'm gonna cut. Cut at the top quarter of your disco ball. And you don't have to worry about these tiles getting damaged, so you don't have to be delicate about this. So when I'm doing my disco projects and sometimes I have to use tile cutters to actually cut the mirror pieces, you have to watch out because this is glass and you can hurt yourself. So just be careful when using these sharp materials. Oh, this is a lovely surprise the DIY gods have gifted upon me. This is not lining up. Some disco balls are glued in spirals, others are glued line by line. I've worked with line by line <laughs> disco balls before. I need to pivot and figure out a way to fix this, but not to worry because I have to do that with every single project that I create. And you just find a way to work around it. I think we're gonna do some creative gluing and cutting. So now I'm just gonna take my X-Acto knife and just pierce into the styrofoam until the top comes off, leaving a gradual shift down to here. <gasps> yes! It just pops right off like a jack-o'-lantern and it's hollow inside, so that's where your plant's gonna go. But now I'm just going to clean up the edges and make it look a bit better. So before I fix this little mistake, I'm going to pop off the bits where I'm gonna be putting the hardware on. I'm going to pick three spots equilateral to pop off a tile. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna try it to see if it just pierces through. It works! Perfect. Next step is cleaning up this edge. I'm taking these extra bits of tile that I saved. I'm just gonna put an old t-shirt over these tiles and use a hammer to break them and see what shapes we get out of it. Okay, let's see what we can make out of these mosaic tiles now. Just trying to match up the shape with whatever you have to work with. And some glue. Next up, you just plop the plant into the disco ball. Final step, you complete the hardware. And three, it's beautiful. I'm so happy with how this one turned out. I can't believe that it worked even after that happy little accident. The fact that it's a hanging planter and it's hung up in the sun and then reflects all that light from the disco ball makes it the perfect combination. If you don't have a good sunny window, then honestly, it's gonna look beautiful no matter where you put it. Overall, this was still a very easy project and I cannot wait to see what you guys make. 